Hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys this incredible dish that is super easy and quick to throw together. It is pan seared floundered with wilted arugula with red onions and mushrooms. So stick around because that's what we're making. Before I begin today's tutorial, please subscribe and hit that bell and select all notifications to be notified of my uploads. I'm also going to tell you guys that this will be my last upload until the 22nd. So my new schedule will be uploads on every Sunday. So starting on the 22nd will be the next video after this one. So I have my flounder here that I'm seasoning one side with paprika and I have this fisherman's wharf which is a really nice herby lemon seafood blend and the spices in here is a uh, salt black pepper dehydrated garlic white onion lemon peel parsley green peppercorn green onion and some soybean oil which is added as a processing aid um, I believe the Fisherman's Wharf is a restaurant, I believe, in California. Please don't quote me on that, but I believe that that's what that is. So I'm just going to evenly season both sides with the Fisherman's Wharf spice. I found this at my Walmart and paprika. So both sides. And after I season one side, I'm going to place the seasoned side down into the flour. Now you're not going to need any other additional spices. This has salt in it and fish, seafood in general is very delicate. It doesn't take much salt. So the salt in this fisherman's worth is plenty. So I'm just going to, I love that pepper. So just evenly coat the sides. There's no measurements here. The flour, I just added, you know, like about a quarter cup of all purpose flour here, give or take. Just enough so I can just dust my flounder down. If you want to use gluten-free flour to do this, you, you could. Um, if you're using flounder that's a little bit thicker, you don't have to use flour at all. But um, because this flounder right here is pretty thin, the flour just helps prevent it from sticking to the pan and also gives it a nice little sear on the outside. So I'm heating my skillet here on medium-high heat and I'm just spraying in a couple of tablespoons of neutral flavored oil you can use canola vegetable oil olive oil but i'm using uh vegetable oil because it just has a higher burning point so the oil is hot so i'm going to just place my fish into the pan you want to place the flattest side in the pan first so the flattest side of your fish place that into the pan and as soon as i place them into the pan i am going to Turn the heat down to medium high. And I'm going to allow this to cook for about three minutes. We're only going to cook them about three minutes per side. They're pretty thin. So the fish have been going in the pan for about three minutes. And I turned the heat down to about medium, medium low. Just been keeping it in the steady heat temp. And I'm going to apply more oil to the pan as needed. And now I'm going to let the fish cook for another couple of minutes and it'll be done. So our fish is done. It's beautiful. It has nice golden color, beautiful crust on the outside. So just remove them from the pan, set them aside, cook all your fish the same way. Now if you don't want to use flour on them, you don't have to. You can cook them without flour. So the version that I'm going to present to you guys is without flour. In my cast iron skillet on medium high, I'm heated up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to put in some mushrooms. This is about a cup and a half of sliced white mushrooms. And to the mushrooms, I am going to add a half of a red onion that I sliced in half and thinly sliced it. And I uh, can add the onion. I'm going to increase the heat up to medium high from medium and I'm just going to allow this to cook for about two minutes. This should cook pretty quickly. I don't want the mushrooms to be super soft but I want them 
to you know still have a little bite to it but I want them to have a little color and then we're gonna wilt in our arugula so I'm gonna let just sit in the pan I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes just so things get a little bit of color now I'm gonna use uh, some arugula now I'm really not going by measurements here but I'm giving you some sort of idea so for the arugula this is a five ounce container that I'm using and I'm just gonna place in about one and a half handfuls of that arugula. This is really gonna wilt down a lot. So I'm gonna just begin to take our cooked veggies in a pan and place it on top of the arugula to give it some heat to encourage it to wilt a lot quicker. And see it's starting to wilt just like that. So as it's starting to wilt, I'm gonna throw in a teaspoon and a half of garlic I'm not going to add any pepper to this because arugula sort of has a peppery flavor. Just throw in a pinch of kosher salt and a squeeze of lemon juice. I'm just using bottled lemon juice for this. I didn't want to waste a whole lemon just to give it a squeeze. So I'm just tossing all that together and see how beautiful that looks. Turn off the heat. And I love having plain white plates because it just makes your presentations really stand out when you use a plain white plate. So I'm going to just plate this on top, my white plate. So I'm going to grab some of that arugula with my tongs and just place it in the middle. So nice of that arugula. I'm going to grab some of those mushrooms and onions as well. Then I'm going to place two pieces of my pan seared flounder on top. One piece here. A pinch of dried parsley. So here is our fish and our arugula. Please hit the thumbs up, share this video, add it to your playlist, and please don't forget to subscribe. Please support me. It truly means a lot. So I'm going to taste this wilted arugula that we put in. It's very simple. Just a little bit of salt. We cooked it in a, a ball of oil with a little bit of lemon juice, red onions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> very beautiful flavor. I like the arugula a lot. It's a very meaty tasting. Beautiful, pleasant flavors. Mm, 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 mm. And I think it's far better than spinach. Let's give the fish a taste. See, so it's nice and flaky. I love the blackened from the spices. Mmm, smells really good. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. I love the spices from the... from everything in this fisherman's wharf. I can really taste all the different peppers in it. I can taste the lemoniness that's from the lemon peel that's in this. Absolutely gorgeous flavors. And if you really want it to be super pungent lemon, of course you could just squeeze over some of that lemon juice. Mm. So there you have it. There you have it. How to make pan seared flounder with wilted arugula with mushrooms and red onions. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please add it to your playlist, share this video, and please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And please remember to live and be well. Let's come together and love each other. Thanks for watching.